We're just not getting here. Didn't even get inside yet. Look at all these cars. I'm gonna zoom you in right here. This is what we're looking for. EV right here. Let's get it. Oh, somebody brought a dog. Real cool, man. All new until next year, that is. This thing does look nice, man. Really nice gray on here. Uh, I love how they got the sign on there, the Bronco. Let's see what they hitting for. One of my buddies just told me. My dad is a Ford man or was a Ford man. How much they want for this? Uh, 38. Probably a really nice family vehicle if you're doing some outdoorsy stuff or something like that. This Ford Bronco. What is this one called? Ford Bronco Sport. Ford put on a nice show here. They got all the nice graphics and everything. Here's that electric, I think this is the Mach 7 or Ford Mach something. I always love the electrics because you see the front. That's crazy. Mach E4X, red brake calipers. This thing is sweet, bro. Bunch of different features, different things going on with this one. We'll get a second way for somebody else to get out. We can look at the center console. Look how you open the doors here. This is pretty cool. Just press a button. Let's get in for a second. Uh, really nice leg room in here, man. Really nice leg room. Man, panoramic roof all the way back. Oh my goodness, look at the center console. This thing is super nice. My legs are all the way back here, bro. It's really comfortable really really comfortable i want to go kind of battery is in here as opposed to a tesla and right, let's go see how this uh do you have a problem getting out of this vehicle just like the tesla let's see can i get out of here <laughs> uh let's see oh okay it's right here on the side i don't know if you all can see it this little button right here i'm gonna press this and this is how i get out now, for Tesla and anybody else making an electric, like you don't have to do all this weird stuff for me to get out the car. Just let me out the car. There we go. And actually, that wasn't the button to get out the car. Leave it out on the light right here. It's this little lever right here. So I don't know if that has anything to do with how they built the vehicle, but make the next one where you can just get out the car the regular way. We love electric, but let us out. It's beautiful, man. Let's look at the back. Really nice trunk space. I mean, honestly though, you could literally fit maybe a, another half row back here. Love this. Let's go ahead and close it up. Oh man, this red is beautiful. That GT there, absolutely gorgeous. Really nice design. Ford put a lot of ingenuity into this. So for you guys and gals who work in the engineering department, marketing department, uh, and, and not a and uh, but media departments, all you people who do not get thanked, I wanna take the time to say thank you uh, because the ingenuity that went into this vehicle is sick. Let's go ahead and sit inside. Really nice setup for your Bluetooth antenna there. Really nice leg room. Really cool boots too. Good job, Steph. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close this up. Man, look at this center console. Really nice, serious. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what station that is. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh look. Uh, change your gear shift right here. Somebody was already trifling through a Milky Way in there. Come on, guys. Push start. Really nice insignia right here. Love it. And then we learn from our lesson here. Go ahead, just open it up right there. Oh man, when you open up the car, you get the mock insignia right there. And then you just go ahead and close this up. Man, this thing is absolutely slick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, with the Pirelli rims, red brake calipers, this one is nice. Really, really, really nice. I like this. And here's the Ford Lightning. 
Love this too, man. Really good design. Ford is killing it with the electrics right now. Look at the insignia right here. F-150 Platinum. The wheels, I don't know how they did this, but these frunks are really, really nice, man. That's a really nice frunk on this one. Stupid, man. Can I close this? Was there a button to close it? I don't know. You know what, I'm not gonna touch it because I think this is out of my price range. But you can see that it looks nice at least. Foot pedals all the way around. Yeah. And then look at the insignia right here. Lightning. This thing is stupid, man. I absolutely love it. Built for a tough, that's right, Detroit stand up. That's me right there all day. Lightning. Made in America, mostly. Man, dude. All right, thank you. you. This is nice though, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, and you said it was 7,000? 70. Oh, okay. No, I heard you the I was just trying to see if I can get a discount. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. This is cool, man. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> you too. So here we have here the brand new Mustang. What kind of Mustang is this? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Dark horse. Let's see how close I can get without touching it. Should he do it? No, I won't. <laughs> this is really, really cool. How many horsepower is in this? 500. 500. Okay. Man, you all are making it really hard to stop at the red light with this one. <laughs> Let's check. I'm sorry. Let's check out the back here. This is called the Mustang Dark Horse. Man. This is sick, guys. Look at that dark horse insignia on the back. Ford right here. This vehicle is sick. All behind the Ford right here, man. Wow, look at this. I mean, this is the dark horse. Are you ready? Let's get it. All right, guys, I just walked into the Ford area. Still over here. New Explorers. They got a, I think this is an Expedition Platinum. This month is over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I won't be uh, looking at this other than literally just looking at it. These cars are sick though, man. I really like them, but a hundred thousand dollars. And you know what? Let me let me change that. They only want ninety thousand one hundred. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars. This is called the Ford Expedition Max. I think that's really cool with the name, but let me show you what this thing is all about. Oh. So here it is right here, the Ford Expedition Max. I mean, they definitely have taken this mug to the max. Very large uh, area here. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very large area. This thing is called Platinum. I like these. I don't know specifically what these are called, but to be able to lock your key, your car door, I think that's sweet. Could have did a little bit better with the rims there. I think these are like 22s. But look at this trunk space, man. You are literally getting the entire family plus like 10 other people in here. No longer do moms have to have the soccer vans. You can get your Ford Expedition Platinum. Close that trunk area there. Very, oh man, it slams pretty good. Expedition Platinum. You would think with as long as this area is though, that they would have had a bigger back windshield, uh, windshield wiper, but they don't. I wonder, does this come out some? It looks like it does, like it expands a little bit. The ingenuity of this all, man. Super slick, I love it. Oh, you can play games while you're in here too? That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> play Frogger or anything else while you're waiting at a red light, you know? They did pretty good on this. I wonder how many airbags this has. And then you have the drop for you to be able to get in. It's really cool. Platinum insignia right there. But again, this thing is $90,000. Looks really, really good, man. But not sure if it's worth the price tag here. There it is all set up here, 90 grand. Sheesh. Mustang dark horse, bro. Like this is good enough to be a screensaver. Man, I love this vehicle. I love it. So guys, you're back with me. I forgot my bag. 
one of those bags to be able to carry all the stuff in. And so what I really like is this here, I guess it's not no paper or something like that. It's pretty cool. So I gotta walk all the way back to the beginning to get a bag. So let's see what happens when I go get a bag. Will I turn this into an adventure? Who knows? Let's see. A lot of cool stuff here though. And I tell you what, this year, man, the people here are really, really cool. Everybody has a really great attitude. I love that, man. Let's go all the way back here and get one of the bags. Oh, I walked too far for this. Okay, so here we go. The bags are right here. Sponsored by Kimba Credit Union. Shout out Kimba Credit Union. And while we're here, man, let's take a look at everybody that's here. So, we gotta go to B10 for BMW. I wanna see that. Uh, look at the EV showcase. That's gonna be pretty cool. My Credit Union, General Electric, Toyota. Nice job, Kimba, for sponsoring it. And then you got GMC, Toyota 4, which is over there. The Chevy showcase. And then we saw all of this. So, we're gonna make our way to BMW. And then I definitely wanna see the BMW collection. Oh, what's this uh, T Mobile here? This is pretty cool. Why is T Mobile here? Who knows? Let's see what they got. All right, let's go and see what else everybody else had. They cannot walk this far without getting one of these bags. All right, guys, here's Chevy. Still disappointing. Still nothing from Acura. Bunch of stuff everywhere. They got some McLarens here. A lot of cool people here. But where is the Acura Precision? That's what we need to find out. Does this place have Acura? Let's keep going. Let's look for it and let's find it. Come on guys, let's get it. We're, since we're over here, let's go ahead and check out Kia. This brand new Kia. I don't know if this is like the 2024 Sorento, but this thing is nice, man. Let's take a look here. This is, oh man, I was right. Oh, this is a 2023 Sorento. Why is this one here instead of the 24? Let's see, 52.5 for the price, not bad. This thing looks very spacious. I love the gray on black trim. Really nice, uh, 20 inch wheels. Now this orange mustard color. I lost control, I love this, man. You know, yellow is my favorite color, but it has a hint of orange in it. I don't know if you all can really see it with the light. There you go, can you see it like that? Okay, cool. So this is the 2023 Seltos SX Turbo 31.5 or 31.7, sorry. That's a really good price for that. It looks a little small though. But this yellow, man, it's definitely worth it. This I'm gonna check and look inside. Let's get inside of this one. <laughs> Seltos right there. Bowl speaker set. Uh, Kia. Okay. But yeah, man, look at this Kia Seltos in the back here. Really cool. Kia showed up, man. And the color scheme that they've done for this year is absolutely gorgeous. I had a Dodge Dart this color, man. It's really cool. Uh, my Dodge Dart was not as cool as this, though. I really like how you can open up the doors here. I'm gonna push this man in. And then pull, and then pull. This thing is very spacious. I don't know what kind of kid this is. Look what happens when you close it. Oh, that doesn't close automatically? Does it? Okay. All right, I'm not gonna touch it. Wow, look at that console, man. And look at this sidebar right there. Trimmed in green and gray. What kind of Kia is this? Oh my goodness, with the neon green brake calipers. Bro, this is slick. Kia showed up. Let's see what we got here. This is the 2023 Kia EV6 GT all-wheel drive, 63. And then you got the Kia right here. This thing is slick, bro. Don't know what kind this is. We'll come back to it. And the mint green right here. I don't know if it's showing anything. I lost focus. There we go. It looks like the brand new 2024 Telluride right there. I really like that. This Telluride is slick, man. 
Now, what I was looking for is, back in the day when you used to come to the car show, they used to have all the pictures of the cars, the booklets and stuff like that. I'm not seeing any of this here, probably because of COVID. Really nice headlights. Make it super hard for you to replace these yourself. This is a 2023 Telluride SX Prestige. And this one is going for 54. Not bad, man. This is gorgeous. I've been in the Tellurides, I really like them. Uh, still not my favorite SUV. Shouts out Acura. So here you had a Kia Soul. These things sold a lot before the pandemic, man. I don't know if they were running some sort of sale, but these Kia Souls went completely in. And then here you go. I think this is really cool, man. Like the, uh, it's called Kia Carnival. SX Prestige. They want 50 for this. But this is like a mix between, actually this is a caravan or a minivan. This isn't a minivan. Would you call this one a caravan? I don't know, Kia, what would you call it, man? You all showed up with this one, bro. I love it. This is an EV motorcycle by, who is this, Livewire? Yeah. But don't they make the, uh, no, that's La Loom or Lime something? LimeWire. LimeWire. That makes you the little go bike style yeah, town? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But this is pretty slick, man. I've never seen an electric motorcycle. How cool is this? I really feel like you would get distracted, though, with the little screen right here but not no more distracting than you with a regular screen. It's probably where you charge it at. This thing is slick, man. So again, guys, here we are, American Muscle. These beautiful cars right here. GTO right here, a GTO right here with the original MSRP on it, dude. That is so sick, man. Like to be able to see these cars in their prime as they used to be. And if I'm not mistaken, I think my grandfather, Grandpa Danny, had a little GTO man in black. I remember my grandmother telling me stories about it. How I used to pick her up for a sock hop and they would ride around and things like that. This takes me back to that time period. Of course I wasn't born, but just being able to see a car like this in its prime, all original custom work and the owners right here having discussions about what they're gonna do for the next year. My buddy Chucky is like, he's ready to go. You ready to go? No, no, I'm just amazed. At Admiring? I know, right? This car is sick, dude. Yes, it is. <laughs> Shouts out to Chucky. <laughs> dude, this car is sick. Very, very excited. I just love how much the restoration they put into these cars. Uh, these, are, these are the real heroes here, man. These men whose wives have sacrificed for them to be able to take all this time and put it into a vehicle and show it off so kids like us can be able to enjoy it. Thank you all so much. Stupid, stupid fresh, man. I absolutely enjoy it. This is the best section of the whole expo. It really is. Like, I think we've just touched the holy grail. Like, <laughs> absolutely. It said don't touch. I know, it said don't <laughs> touch. <though. laughs> so yeah, man. So we came, we saw, we conquered. Really disappointed. No Acura MDX Precision. So maybe if we go to the Columbus and uh, what did, what did uh, Super say the other one was? Chicago. Chicago. Chicago Auto Show or even uh, Detroit's may have already passed, hasn't it? I think Detroit. Well, we missed the Detroit one. But uh, being able to see these cars was really sick, really good time. I've been around here on my phone recording the, the entire time. Now I'm about to just walk around and have fun. I saw, is that free Mountain Dew over there or you gotta pay for it? No, fresh I know. Mountain Dew. Where's the lady at or the guy? You know what, never mind. Ain't nothing, That's, ain't nothing over there free. Okay, well you still gotta pay for it. Never mind. we're gonna go eat after this. So. This is Airmark. <laughs> everything costs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well yeah man, we seen everything, shut it down, and we really appreciate you all sticking with us man to the next video. Let's get it.